Hello, this is Breakfast with Bill Turnbull and Sean Williams. Heavy snow and freezing temperatures cause severe disruption in many parts of the UK. Travellers are being told stay at home unless your journey is absolutely necessary. The southeast of England has been hardest hit, but across the country, people are waking up to scenes like this. So hardly surprising that the Met Office have got out some severe weather warnings for many central and eastern parts of the British Isles. There is a lot of snow around, some of it's getting to the west, and some treacherous conditions. I'll have a full weather roundup in 15 minutes. Good morning. It's Monday, the 2nd of February. It's a very, very tough morning. It is. It's treacherous out there and snow is still falling across many parts of the UK. It's been an extremely difficult morning on the roads and the railways. We'll have the very latest information that you need to try to get through the disruption. Also ahead this morning, talks taking place today to try to resolve the dispute over foreign workers at a Lincolnshire Lincolnshire oil refinery. News coming through this morning that some contract workers at the Sellafield nuclear reprocessing plant have walked out this morning. Ryanair loses £90 million in three months, despite saying passenger numbers are up. How come? I'll explain in just a few minutes. In sport, Fernando Torres gets Liverpool's Premier League title bid back on track by derailing Chelsea's. And we're at a wildlife sanctuary here in Norfolk, finding out how all of this snow is affecting the animals. And who does he think he is? The impressionist Rory Bremner finds out about his family history, tells us all about it after 8.30. Come, good morning to you and welcome to the programme. Our main news, of course, is the heaviest and most widespread snow that the southeast of England has seen for 18 years. The weather is expected to cause disruption across the UK, though, today. The Met Office has issued a severe weather warning for the whole of England and Wales. We're going to be live in some of the worst hit areas. First, though, this report from Andy Moore. As the snow swept in from the east, London and the home counties were the first to be hit. Cars had problems with even the smallest of inclines. The capital's extensive overnight bus network was shut down, leaving many people with miles to walk home. I can't go to Kingston or I can't go to my friends in Alvin, so I'm stuck right now. The runways at Gatwick and City Airport were closed for a time to allow snow clearance. At Gatwick, the rail service was cancelled, leaving travellers stranded. I've got my skis there, come back from a ski holiday. I think I'm going to get on those and get my way home. Trains are cancelled, taxis are not moving. No help, no information. Um, really is ridiculous how we can come to a standstill in this day and age. More than 500 gritters were out and extra highway patrols. Most major roads were kept open, but they were struggling with freak conditions, even thunder and lightning. Having them for you getting to work yeah. in the morning. Oh, God. <laughs> that was even more out of the blue, weren't it? <laughs> Motoring organisations are advising people in the worst hit areas not to make unnecessary journeys. With more snow forecast, it's going to be a challenging journey to work by road and rail for many people. Andy Moore, BBC News. Right, where are the worst affected places and what's going to happen during the day? Here's Carol. It's worse than the southeast, but it's spreading, isn't it? That's right, Billy. At the moment, the worst conditions are south of the M25, so the North Downs. Here we've got 10 inches, 25 centimetres in some parts, even more than that as well. Heading over towards Hampshire, we've got some heavy snow and also round about Luton and Kent. Now, as you rightly said, this snow is moving northwestwards. It's going to turn that bit heavier and with the wind, which is very cold by the way, we'll have some drifting and there's also likely to be some blizzards, especially on higher ground. So the Pennines later on and the Grampians, for example, are likely to be treacherous. But as you also said, it's not just the east that's affected. The east is worse affected but we're also seeing it in some parts of the west as well so care really has to be taken wherever you are because as well as the wind and the snow we've also got a fair bit of ice to contend with okay carol thanks more from you later let's find out uh, how all this is affecting the roads uh, we can cross to jenny hill jenny joins us from kent this morning with a picture there we can see things moving behind you the problem is getting to that road isn't it morning jenny 
Good morning. Yes, you put your finger exactly on the problem. In the southeast, uh, we're told we've really borne the brunt, if you like, of what's been described as this extreme weather. Now, this is the A2 behind me. As you can see, traffic is moving freely. It's extremely quiet for a Monday morning, as you'd imagine, because, as you say, many of those other routes to just get to this particular road have been blocked. We know that overnight the M20, a major route here in Kent, had to be closed because of treacherous conditions. And the highways agency are telling us that what really is causing the problems are the minor roads, the ones that the gritters haven't perhaps been able to get to. Now, we know that overnight 500 or so gritters were out trying to make sure that the roads were passable. Clearly, that's not been possible across the whole of the country. Last night, we went for a little look round, and certainly some of the minor roads here were almost impassable, very treacherous, very icy. Now, there's a good couple of inches of snow here on the ground. It has, though, in the last half an hour, stopped snowing, though the temperatures have noticeably got much, much colder. And um, Obviously, there are concerns here among people that the uh, snow will return later in the day, that this is one of the lulls that Carol was talking about slightly earlier on. For the time being, though, what a start to the week. Eerily quiet on the roads. This is by no means a usual Monday morning. There will be many here, of course, who'll be staying home enjoying the snow. But out there on the roads, we're told it is an extremely treacherous situation indeed. OK, Jenny, talk to you later. Thanks very much. Well, let's go north a bit and west a bit to the Cotswolds and join Phil Mackey. What's the picture there in Chipping Norton, Phil? Uh, well, it's the A44, it's the uh, road you can see behind me. It's one of the busiest routes across the Cotswold Hills, across the South Midlands, re really. Much quieter, I'd say, than it would normally be uh, at this time of the day. A lot of people probably heeding the warnings and deciding not to make unnecessary journeys. Uh, here it's clear, you can see buses coming through from time to time. But once you get off the main roads, all of the little minor roads are untreated, they're covered in snow, they're quite treacherous. And even the A44 itself, we drove here this morning um, from, from the west, from Worcestershire, uh, and there are stretches where the gritting just hasn't worked and it becomes really, really quite difficult. A lot of lorries are driving along that road, that's making it uh, even slower, really, for transport. Uh, at the moment, though, it's just eased off a little bit, the snow, but it seems to be coming in little bursts, and we're told that we're north and west of London, that's where it's worst at the moment, but it's definitely heading this way. OK, Phil, thanks very much, Phil Mackey, there. And uh, lots of stuff coming about travel there, isn't there, Sean? Yeah, let's just do the airports as well, because we've heard the, the picture on the road. Uh, Leeds-Bradford, big delay. Southampton Airport closed. London City uh, closed. Stansted open, but there will be disruption. Heathrow runway closed. Gatwick disruption as well. Uh, we were hearing no buses on uh, the streets of London today and lots of disruption on the underground as well, so that's a real problem. And also, if you're trying to commute into work by rail, the difficulty is that the uh, National Rail website that you should be checking your journey yep. on is, uh, is collapsing under the pressure. Exactly. Lots of you writing in to say what's happening with our school. Will it be open today? You will have to check and ring the school yourself um, because it, it depends, really. They're taking local decisions on, on what's going to happen. We do know that 250 schools are closed in Essex. 50 schools at the moment are closed in Kent, so it is well worth and, ringing uh, them to Suffolk make sure. the same, yeah. Yep.